It's a great day at TCIS. Welcome to the Wednesday show. I'm Anand along with Pun Pun. And here are your weekly announcements for Wednesday, November 9th. Hey, great looking outfit. Same to you. TCS will be hosting the annual book fair for the rest of the week in the Yaya Cafe. This year, four books companies have been invited. The last day of the sale is on parent-teacher conference day. Hours for the book fair are 7.15 to 3.30. There is an all-club meeting on Thursday in the 360 during lunch. Two representatives from each club should attend see a student council member if you have any questions. The University of San Francisco will be on campus today. See Mr. Jeff for more information. Friday is parent-teacher conference, so there is no school for students. Parents can sign up for a conference. Next week on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday, students will be participating in online learning as all school campuses in Bangkok will be closed to alleviate traffic for the APEC convention. If you are interested in taking the SAT, make sure to check with Mr. Jeff about available seats. If you are struggling in any of your classes, you can sign up with Mr. Jeff in the office to arrange for a peer tutor. We have so many talented students on campus at TCIS. That's for sure. And here is another example. Tip and Mint caught up with Grace to find out about her amazing talents. When I was five years old, I didn't want to do ballet. I was forced to do ballet because of my mom. But later, for a while, when I competed nationally and internationally, I felt the urge and the passion to commit to ballet. It was that day when I held my romantic tutu in my pointe shoes and, go and was going to a competition. The bright lanterns were shining to me and I was ready to compete. My racing heart was suppressed by my calmness because I felt that I was ready for the stage. Because of my hard work and determination, I felt that the muscle memory I've been accumulated for my free-flowing body in ballet has been anything but success. When I finished my dance, I thought it was a success. I thought everything I did was perfect. But later on, that image I had for myself disappeared. When I found out that a girl younger than me was dancing with her facial emotion and expression, as well as technique, even better than me. I felt at that moment that I didn't deserve to dance on that Marley dance floor. When I came back to my ballet studio, everything changed. I have this ongoing habitual self-mind game of thinking that I always have to take a step further to um, push myself to a limit even though my physical dispositions would hinder me. And at that moment, I realized that I have a passion in ballet. I don't like winning when it is natural for me to win, but I like winning because I put in commitment and perseverance for me to win all these awards. And that is the story of how I um, acquired my passion for ballet because of beauty and perseverance. Wow, Grace this is so impressive. What a cool story. If you have any announcements, make sure to submit them on the WCV Google form. That's all of the announcements for today. See you next week on WTV.